everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Sophia if you are new today's video is going to be a try on haul of KKW beauty products now I wasn't going to make this purchase whatsoever just because the Sephora VIB or not VIB appreciation event just passed and I was kind of like okay I don't need any more makeup I don't need any more makeup I'm set however on Labor Day weekend she had a sale that was 25% off her in tire side and I remember when she had I think it was her memorial day sale it was 20% so and another one that she recently had like about six months ago was also 20% so when I saw 25% I was just like Ugh. I just have to do it because there are so many products I do want to try from her line I also didn't want this video just to be a haul because I just did a Sephora haul and plus I'd rather just sit here and talk to you guys about her products and let you know what I really think about them so I'm really excited for this video because there are so many products that I wanted to try from her line and I'm so happy I finally have them in my collection so if you're new please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe don't forget to leave me your guys' comments down below if you've ever tried KKW Beauty and with that said let's go also i'm wearing this like nude shirt to match her aesthetic that was done on purpose by the way um i do have the box right here behind me um it came in a pretty large box like i was kind of like hmm. i did take off my address so you guys can't see it and i do have a base on i'm wearing the becca skin love foundation oh my god oh my god it's seriously such a bomb foundation. I've been trying a foundation I love this much since NARS released their um, most recent liquid foundation. I think it's the Radiant foundation or something like that. Like this one and that NARS one are like my life. I Those two are my like holy grails besides the hourglass one like those three so i have like three holy grails but this is definitely one of them i'm obsessed with it it's the perfect everyday foundation with the perfect amount of coverage also it's great for like youtube like filming because it's not super full coverage but when you build up on it and use product with it it gives you a full coverage so enough about that but i do want to get into this video so this is what the packaging looks like you also get a kkw fragrance card this one is the crystal gardenia and it you can like smell it it smells so good i really actually like want to order this perfume it smells really really nice I hate ordering perfume online because you don't know what it's going to smell like and I don't think you can return these. So this is what it smells like. It smells so good. Then as for the products, they came in little styrofoam wrapped um, like pouches, which is actually really nice because it helps protect them. And then another product didn't come in anything, but it's okay because it didn't break. The highlighter palette that I got came wrapped in styrofoam, so that was also nice to help protect the powders. And then the other two products I got came in these really cute, like, nude bags. Um, like I said, I haven't tried any of this or even opened any of this, so this is, like, kind of my first impressions. I'm going to go ahead and start with the things in this pouch. Um, I got to dump it out because there's, like quite a bit of stuff in here um I think it's these ones and the nude packaging um yeah so these are the KKW beauty concealers at 0.162 fluid ounces oops <laughs> I did just want to compare it to a couple other really really popular concealers on the market so you're able to see the comparison about how much product you get any tart shape tape one you get 0.338 so you get way more in this one and then with the makeup revolution one you get 0.11 so you actually get more in the kkw one than this one and then i also grabbed my kylie cosmetics one just because it is her sister's company also i've been using this concealer i don't like this concealer on its own i like it mixed with this one but this one isn't my favorite concealer to be honest i'd probably skip on this um anyways though sorry i <laughs> got distracted um, this one you get 0.22 so you get more in the Kylie one and then lastly the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer you get 0.50 so you get way more in this one but you get way more in this one even compared to all of these ones as for the packaging on these concealers they come in her nude packaging that she does for everything i picked up the shade one and the shade three the shade one was described as a very fair 
um, concealer with neutral undertones online and then the shade 3 was described as fair light I believe with more pink undertones so I didn't know which one I would want but I went ahead and just bought both of them because they were on sale and I actually really like how it's just clear and plain and then it has that nude top um I don't see any like KKW stamp or anything on the actual packaging which I don't mind I think this makes the product look very clean I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this to the face in a second but I do want to first talk about another product that I like to go in with first so this is the next product I picked up from her. This is the cream contour and highlight kit in the shade Fair. This was like the first product I think she ever launched. Um, she does have like the singles of them now, but I just got this one because I figured why not? I'll just get these. Um, I mean, honestly thinking about it, I wish I did just get a single contour stick, but I didn't and there's nothing I can do about that. So this went ahead and opened it. I'm really excited to try these contour sticks. I've heard really good things about them. So you have light one and fair one. So you do get two in a kit. And then one side of the contour stick is the highlight side. And it looks like this. And then the other side of the contour stick on this one is like a shiny highlight side. Like you would use it to apply to your cheekbone area. And then on the other stick is the contour stick. Now the contour stick is honestly what I'm most intrigued by. That's why, like I said, I kind of wish I didn't get the highlighting one because I'm more interested by the contour one, but you have the contour side. So as I'm looking at it, they look pretty similar. The main difference is that one is more like cool tone and one is more warm toned. So I'll probably end up mixing the two. Also, I don't like how you get like hardly any product. You get a tiny amount. That's why, I, like I said earlier, I wish I would have just bought the regular one, but that's okay because I did want to try these products out anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to contour out the face. I saw a lot of like, a lot of people like paddle drive it on so we'll see how this first comes about I'm not sure which side I'm using right now to be honest it's more like the cool tone side then we'll go on this side of the face same thing just it does smell like a factory like it it definitely has like a distinct smell so keep that in mind and then I'm gonna go in on the other side the more like darker warm toned side and I'm just gonna add a little bit more just to see the difference yeah this so this side is a lot more um, darker than that first side I used and then go down the nose and bring it in and then I'm just going to blend all of this out. I'm going to just use this Real Techniques buffing brush. First impressions is that this is blending really, really, really nice. Also, I will say usually with cream contour products, when you blend it, it can look really muddy or it can set too quick. These aren't doing either. They just look very natural and they actually look really, really nice. The formula reminds me of a like NYX Wonder Stick. There are definitely other alternatives to this stick. I don't think you absolutely need it but I really like how this blended it blended really really easy and I think it looks really nice and natural now on camera I don't know why it's pulling up so dramatic because in person it looks really nice and it looks very blended and clean and crisp so I don't know maybe it's just the studio lighting that's making it look a little bit muddy but it doesn't look like that in person but I'm just going to tap over it with a beauty blender now because I pretty much do this on every step of my makeup. Okay, so now that that part is done with the contour stick, um, I'm not going to go in with the like 
um, highlighter one just because I do want I'd rather use the concealers for that part so I do like the contour stick I think it looks really really nice I will continue to use it and leave a little update for you guys down below on all these products so you're able to see what I think but so far I really like it I do have other products just like this in my collection so is it an absolute necessary product for me no but do I like it yes so Keep that in mind. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move in with the concealers now. I'm probably just gonna use both of them, shades one and three, to see um, what I think. I'm just gonna go in um, like I normally do in places. So underneath the eye area, I'm also gonna be taking this underneath my, or on my chin, on the nose, on the forehead, and then just a little bit under the contour. So the shade that I have on right now is the shade number one, which is the fairest in her collection. I'm now gonna go into shade three and just put it where I put shade one. Shade one is very light and very neutral. Um, so props to her for, you know, having a super light shade. Um, a lot of brands don't have a light enough shade for me. I do like the way that this is blending out and melting into my skin. I think this looks better than the Kylie one. Right when I first tried the Kylie one, I knew I was I didn't really like the consistency and the formula of it. But I really like this Car Kim Kardashian one, the KKW one. I think it just melts into the skin a lot better than the Kylie one. And this one has like a really pretty like brightening effect. The Kylie one does too, but it's not really for me. Also the Kylie one under the eyes didn't blend well. This one is blending out really nice and adding a lot of light, which I mean, I would kind of expect from the KKW one because she is known for her contour and highlight. So that would make sense. I'm also gonna just put this on my eyelid to use as a primer for when we get to that step in the makeup. Really like this. I think it looks really, really nice and smooth and brightening and I just look really healthy and glowy. I really hope it's picking it up on camera as good as it looks in person because I think it looks really, really nice. I am gonna be setting everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I opted for this one over the um, Cute Beauty one. And I'm just taking this all the places where I had originally set down concealer. This is baking. I'm going to go off camera, do my eyebrows, and do like my bronzer and blush because she doesn't have any of those products in her brand right now. So I will be right back. The next thing that we are going to be working on is our eyes. Now for the eyes, I have two products, or actually I have three products for the eyes, which I'm so excited for. This is probably the most exciting thing about this video, I would say. So the first eye product that I have is the KKW Beauty X Mario Palette. Now, I wanted to buy this when it first came out and I just didn't because I was like, oh, that price though, they're pretty steep. So I just, I never bought it and then when I saw it, when I saw it online, online, online on the sale, I just, I knew I had to get it. This is what the product actually looks like. It's just slate gray and it lightly says KKWX Mario, which I love the simplicity of it and I love that they did this gray. Um, also, this is what the palette actually looks like. It is so freaking beautiful. Like, honestly, that blue shade that you see here that like kind of took this palette viral, I feel like, it doesn't do it justice. Like you really need to see this color in person because in person it's like a hundred times more vibrant. So this is the first palette. Now I don't think I am going to be using this palette today just because I do want to do more of a neutral look. It's a 10 pan palette. So that's really awesome. And the shades look absolutely gorgeous. I will swatch a few so you guys are able to see. Now, the one thing is that the shade names are on the back and I'm so bad at like figuring that out, but I'm just going to assume if I'm holding the palette like this, the shade is loyalty. Um, let me see. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know, honestly. Um, I will do a couple swatches so you guys are able to see some of the pigments in this palette. Next palette that I have, obviously, is the KKW Beauty. I think this is the classic palette or it was part of her classic collection. I'm not 100% sure. However, I will say that... Um, same thing I really wanted this palette I just thought the price point was a little bit steep for what it was but this is just her classic nude that has been the theme of like the pale pinky nude which I love and looks like now this one didn't come with a protective slip like the Mario one did I don't know why but it didn't um, it just looks like this it's so so pretty I'm really excited to try these colors out since I am doing these on the eyes today I'm not gonna do swatches of them but same thing as the Mario one. This is a 10 pan palette. And then the last eye product, you guys. Oh my gosh. I am so excited for this. <sighs> so I thought that this was on sale too. I didn't see the excluding. So, I mean, I did pay full price for this, but I don't really care because I'm really excited to try these. This is the Ultra Light Beam Duo. Now, for some reason, I also thought that they sold the ultra light beams separate like you didn't have to buy the gloss and the pigment I thought you could just buy the pigment or the gloss on its own but you can't now the shade I got I'm not gonna say the shade I'm just gonna go ahead and open it and show it to you guys I really really liked the lavender and the pink one but I didn't get either of those I got this one I got the peach shade oh my god this shade is so pretty you guys like honestly it's absolutely stunning it's not doing it justice like in person I did not expect it to look like this it is freaking beautiful um this is gonna be such a pretty gloss topper too it's just like a pinky gold shade so so pretty I do want to use this pigment today because the pigment is so beautiful and I just feel like with this palette these two are gonna go so well together so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the eyes so for the eye part I did zoom you guys in so you're able to see exactly how these perform first shade I want to start with is Gemini I believe oh my god yeah I think it's Gemini um I think it's either fade or Gemini it's just this cream white one um, I'm just gonna take this on a brush and apply it all over the lid to just set down as a base shade it's like a pale yellow it looks really nice actually even though I already did set this I do want to just apply the shade to set it a little bit more and to help the colors blend I'm taking a fluffy brush and I am going to be taking this middle like coral shade which is I believe a selfish it's actually a really pretty shade I really like this it's like a pinky coral burnt shade and I'm just gonna be taking this shade in the crease and slowly buffing this back and forth more defined brush and go into that same selfish shade now the reason why I'm doing this is because this is gonna help just build the pigment up and it'll be more precise on where I press the product crease like you can probably already see they look like two different colors but because one is diffused and blown out with a fluffy brush and one is packed on with a smaller tightening brush they do look different darker shade I think this is the shade dash now I I'm gonna take it on this really tiny blending brush this I'm not sure if I really want to go in with so I'm just gonna start with a really really light hand and just like focus it right like here on the outside parts because I'm gonna go in with that ultra beam however I want this light to just be or not light I want this look to just be a very light neutral look so that's why I'm just taking a tiny bit I don't know if you guys are able to tell I barely took any and it's adding a little bit of more depth and dimension to the eye which is what I was looking for a little bit of some baking powder um, to just kind of help chisel out the sides that way it'll be nice and clean cut I do want to use the peach pigment but 
I think I'm gonna have to lay down a base so it has something to stick to. So I'm actually, yeah, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this like peachy shade in the palette, this one right here, I believe it's called Saint. I'm gonna take this on a flat brush and apply it all over the lid and then we're gonna go in and top it off with the pigment i love that it just adds like a little oomph you can definitely tell that i did layer a pigment on this side and you can really see the pink coming through a brush in sweeping away all of the fallout like i mentioned i did have quite a bit of fallout so you're gonna want to make sure you do your eyes last and have powder sitting underneath just in case but good thing i did that i was the guinea pig for us a fluffy brush again with that same um shade selfish and just go underneath on the waterline or not the waterline the lower lash line is a highlighter shade in this palette but i'd rather use her actual highlighting like palette to get like the inner corners of my eyes and underneath my brow bone but this is what the eyes look like i think they look so pretty so natural so every day and as for the other products that i've put on i think they also look good i think everything's really meshed together very well so i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next part of the video the highlighter palette that i picked up this is the highlighter palette in the shade or number one you could say she has two highlighter palette sh um, numbers and this is the one so it is the lighter one of the two it had like a plastic slip in it um and this is what the actual highlighters look like. They look amazing. They look so pretty. Um, the palette, as far as size, I would compare it to an Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, like her four pan ones. Um, very, very similar. I'm gonna go in with these top two, I believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a Anastasia highlighter brush um, and just kind of start picking them up. I'm gonna start out with the shade white gold number one. I coated it all over my brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. Whoa, that's like really. Okay, I zoomed you guys out, sorry. Um, But yeah, this is really pretty. Like, do you guys see this? Like, what? Hello? Hello, is anyone home? This is so pretty. I really like this shade because sometimes when I use gold highlighters, they can look a little too gold and then when you look straight on they have that like weird cast this is not doing that at all it just looks like the perfect color like for my skin tone um just look at that too like whoa it reminds me a lot of the natasha denona's super ghost that she just came out with like that wet look that just glows like you guys this is so pretty I'm gonna um, also just oops, tap it out with a damp sponge because I always do this. I wish I would have just went in with a damp sponge all over my face with this one actually. So I feel like that would look really pretty, but so pink number one, and I'm gonna just dab it right, right on the tops. So hmm, that one looks really pretty too. These are really pretty like I was not expecting that honestly like those are gorgeous and they're very very like pigmented and blinding too like I wasn't expecting that at all so I'm just gonna take a small pencil brush and I white gold is my favorite out of this whole palette so I'm just gonna go back to that white gold shade and I'm gonna just spray a little bit of fix plus because i am doing the inner corner of the eye i'm just gonna pop it on okay this highlighting palette is like a win like i wish i i wish i bought this earlier this is so pretty like i was not expecting this to have so much pigment and to look this good i'm gonna go ahead and set everything really quick with a uh, fix plus For the last part of this video, it is the lip part. I'm so excited for this part. I feel like I say that every single time that I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But no, 
I'm so excited. So I have quite a bit. Do you have her lip liner, which my dog got a hold of, which is fine because he didn't get the product. But I'm going to line my lips with this. This is the shade peach one it's just a very very pretty light peach color that's the only liner i bought i wish i bought more but they were pretty much sold out of all the liners like the nude ones so i couldn't i also got the cream lipstick in peach one i got the classic k by kkw and mario i got the super nude and i also got the juicy lip gloss and like I also mentioned, this um, Ultra Light Beam Duo is a gloss in the color peach. So I'm going to go ahead and just start to line my lips with her Peach One Lip Liner. Everyone raves about these liners, so I'm really excited to try them. I really like this liner. It reminds me a lot of like the ColourPop liner as far as consistency, so I really, really like that. Um, as for the color that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to go ahead and do the peach one just because it is a lighter shade and I think it's really pretty. It doesn't feel drying at all. Like I feel like my lips are like hydrated and plump. And as far as comparing this formula to a, you know, formula you might be familiar with, I would compare it to a MAC cream sheen. It's very creamy and nice and hydrating. And I actually really like this color too. I think it looks really good. I'm gonna just go back in with that lip liner and just outline the lips a little bit because we did lose a little definition, but I really like this shade. All these glosses are really pretty, but I'm just feeling like a goldy kind of gloss. So I'm gonna top this off with that. Final look of the try on slash haul from KKW Beauty. I'm actually really impressed by these products. Um, I mean, I feel like I have to compare it to Kylie Cosmetics because that's just what you do when, you know, um, they both have their own beauty line. For me personally, KKW Booty has spoken more to me lately than Kylie. Kylie, I feel like, is more fun and cute type of thing, whereas, I mean, KKW Booty is too, but it's more of your everyday go-to glam, super simple. Everybody can, like, need these products in their lives. It's very natural and neutral, so that's why I think I gravitate more towards the KKW Beauty line. I think the look that I came up with is really pretty, and it looks really nice. I love everything I tried in this video. If I did have to say one thing wasn't my favorite, it was the contour sticks, but I still really like them, and I say it's not my favorite because I have so many other contour products that I do like more, but other than that, I'm obsessed. I think this is great. I will keep you guys updated, and I will continue to try these products, but as for this video, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. Don't forget to leave me your comments below if you've tried her products and which products you like by her. Give this video a huge thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.